Aloha, beautiful global fam. Luminosity here, uh, sharing a little love stream of the beautiful sunset. Let's give you a view of that gorgeous sunset coming through. So divine. So we're doing a little drop in to update you. Ooh. On this week's online retreat, we've been doing these amazing online retreats with the pod for the last few weeks and just incredible oh there's a doggy who's tied up and he wants to be with his people <laughs> the god dog tool god love thank heavens for dogs in our reality okay so we are doing um another online retreat this week this will be the fourth online retreat and it is called take the leap and it's all about the activation of our diamond light body so we are continuing to move at a quantum speed quantum pace um skimming over the surface oh my gosh this sunset i gotta show you it's like what wow that is just so profound what just like a beautiful painting okay so this week's online retreat um, take the leap we have been our pod has been um, taking quantum leaps in learning how to develop coherence so coherence is key for the activation of our diamond light bodies and coherence means getting that small self out of the driver's seat or wrapping your arms around them and putting them on your lap whatever you want to do I've got this great lion video I'll put it in the descriptor notes for um, moving this small self out of the driver's seat so that we can get into our diamond light bodies and take action so there's a lot of exciting things going on on the planet right now massive heart openings occurring for many people as the veils come off the seven sacred seals around the heart open and we can see again with clarity the truth of who we are and experience our divine divinity, our, our beauty, our essence, the love. And as the heart opens up, that gives us access to the axiotonal grids of creation, to Gaia consciousness, to these higher, higher streams of consciousness. They're like highways of consciousness. And this week's retreat will be following the other online retreats we did that it doesn't matter who you are, what you're, what's going on in your life, or what your passion is. That's not what these retreats are about in terms of the passion per se. The passion is to share how to get into coherence such that you can create the life of your dreams. And the exciting thing that's happening now is we're beginning to have access to these quantum gates, the stargates on the planet when we are ready as we come into full coherence and we are transcendence of polarity, duality, and all of those energies that work through us. This is an incredible cleansing process. If this love stream is inspiring, please share it. That's called gifting. Um, we've been in this incredible cleansing process, which is really cleansing and purifying ourselves of who we thought ourselves to be and coming back into alignment with our divinity. Divinity is coherence. The quantum field is about the coherent state. And that's what gives us access to move in and out of time and space. At will. Oh my gosh, loud motorcycle. So as we learn coherence, very mystical things start to happen in our life. Like time starts to dissolve away and synchronicities ignite. And, and then we start 
all the puzzle pieces of our life really start to come together and make sense. And it's because what's really happening is time is dissolving away. And time and gravity are the last two things in space that bind the consciousness to the cross. The cross, the crucifixion is really all about being bound to the cross of time and space. And so as we learn to navigate coherence beyond the personality, beyond the small self, beyond the ego, beyond the polarity, something very cool happens, which is that the spirit has access to travel again, but not just from the consciousness place, we actually get to move our body in and out of time and space. So, uh, beloved Rion de Rune uh, does a Sunday drop-in, and I just happened to come across his Sunday drop-in this morning, which was great. Um, I haven't seen his love streams for a few years, and it was just such perfect, eloquent timing because he's saying the same things that um, I've been sharing and saying and that these online retreats are all about. And so this week, not only are we going to continue with our quantum activations, our meditations, working through anything that might need to come into coherence inside of us, sharing all these quantum tools, simultaneous, we're going to talk about action steps in our life. And so we lost, we lost contact there for a minute. It's about um, your participation when you place crystals, when you work with the grids, when you work with the sacred sites on the planet, you're connecting your consciousness into power points that begin to give you access to move in and out of time and space at will. No middle man, no middle person required. And so all of these eclipse energies, because we're in the window of Ophiuchus right now, November 29th to December 11th, according to the Star Knowledge Bundles, or December th or November 30th, one of those two days, Ophiuchus is the unifying energy of the zodiac. So it's the 13th sign of the zodiac, and it unifies all the other signs. All the signs of the zodiac, just like the tarot, are kind of like a game. They're archetypal energies to work your way through and play. But if you're really done with playing at that level and you're ready to take a quantum leap, it's the unification. That's why this window of Ophiuchus is so significant that Ophiuchus lies in between these two eclipses right now because it's giving us access to the 13th strand of our DNA and that is activating the diamond light body. It connects in the threefold flame of the heart, the trinity wave or the trinity union of the wombs, all of the levels of the wombs of creation and creation, the womb of creation is where we re-access our capacity to access all of our multi-dimensional capacities on a very quantum level beyond the father's house of many mansions so uh, we want to get that feminine energy the womb back in to really truly move beyond the level of the matrix and we have the capacities to do this and that's who i love to play with so um yeah what else so check out rion's uh his love stream that he did today i put the link in the description box I also put a link in the description box that was sent to me by beloved uh, Deborah Salamaris, Rose Star Galactica, about um, Uluru and about the stargates and about our multidimensional capacities. And um, so we really, this is all a time of purification. It's a time of what I like to call specialization instead of mastery. I like the word specialization so much better than master. Um, and. So we're in this time of specialization to really be tuning in and not, not getting distracted by the external world. The external world is a distraction if you're ready to take the quantum leap. And um, so, yeah, those two articles are there to take a little look-see at. And it's, yeah, so this, this window is learning to really perfect our connection with energy like tune into the subtle energies where are triggers where are reactions those are all the greatest gifts to get more comfortable with learning about subtle energy because subtle energy is where the quantum field is at which is why we want to learn coherence in every miracle so if you're interested in joining us for this week's online retreat the link for all the details is in the description box. If this love stream is inspiring, please share it. That's called gifting. We love we and 
um, I'm really inspired to see the quantum leaps that everyone on the planet is taking and in alignment with the consciousness of Gaia. When the 60th CD ignites in multiple beings, it will be the end of the world as we know it, and Gaia and the cells that make up her consciousness move forth into a new reality. We love we.